Well, Gardens of the Greats, Expressions of Extraordinary People, is a beautiful coffee table book that celebrates the private landscapes of 10 high-profile New Zealanders, as well as four global influencers. Now, we welcome co-authors Christina Dutil and Arno Dora, who are here to give us a sneak peek of some of these fabulous gardens. Welcome, both of you. It's such a pleasure to have you in the studio. Uh, so, Anna, you. you are a landscape designer, but this is not a book that's packed with gardening or landscape advice, is it? It's a, it's a celebration of people's incredible outdoor areas. Indeed, indeed. It's all about um, their stories first and foremost, uh, and then how their garden reflect their stories. Um, so I knew from the start that I didn't want to write a book about landscape design or garden advice, mm, well, pests and diseases, mm. so all those topics that have been extensively talked about. Um, and it actually took me two years to come, up, to come up with something that would resonate with us mm. both. Um, and uh, yeah, so we are sincerely sort of appreciate those who have a higher purpose on just being successful entrepreneurs and combining the stories of those successful business people on one side and on the other side, how their garden reflect their stories mm. uh, reason, resonated with us. I was going to ask you about that, and Christina, you can perhaps answer this. Once you did the ten and the other four, was there a common thread? Yeah. And what was that? Absolutely. So going back and looking at all the stories, uh, one thing that came out of all the interviews, Mike, is really you know, the connection that these people have with nature through their mm. garden and the balance, balance harmony and, and peace that they get out of it. Right. I think that's really across all of them, that's really what they got out of it. It's really a place to you know, restore their soul and inspire them on a daily basis. Mm. You know. So how much do we learn about these people's lives by looking at their gardens? <laughs> Uh, well, quite quite a bit actually. Um, if the I take, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, if I take the example, for example, um, of Sir Ian Edgar and Lady Jen, you know, um, incredibly generous people in so many areas, whether it's health, whether it's sports, whether it's the arts, and and the garden is what I call the quiet masterpiece to me, and it really reflects their personality. These personalities, right. they are just people that are very open, very kind, uh, you can easily connect to them and the garden is exactly that. It's a native, beautiful escape garden uh, with tussocks and flax and among sculptures for their love of arts, yeah. obviously, wow. and you know, winding pathways and benches where you can rest and relax and contemplate the beautiful Lake Wakatipu and, and just enjoy the moment, really. Well, and, and, and you know, we're very lucky because we're going to see a sneak peek of some of these gardens now. Okay. Um, and I'm thinking about Sir Michael Hill because I know he's got a golf course. I can't <laughs> imagine what his garden is going to be like. So can yeah. you take us through that one? Yeah, sure. Um, Arrow Town is, um, is an alpine landscape, basically. So the golf course is sort of wrapping around um, the, uh, his garden, which is a, a, an amazing garden, mm. you know, everything that Michael does is is a, is a is is piece of art. Um, mm. So, right. uh, you know, you, you have what I think is interesting with his garden is the seamless connection that he, he, you have between uh, the, the the natural environment, uh, the strong design of the house itself, and the garden that blends all seamlessly um, together with the landscape, with the uh, the golf ball wrapping around. Yeah. Wow. This is the one I like that 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 really grabbed mm. me. So Bob Harvey and his wife Lady Barbara oh, and their yeah. white Tarkley garden. But this is this the quote. <laughs> Weeding is like decluttering your mind. It transforms your life. Like that is a beautiful house. I do not agree. Weeding is not decluttering oh. your mind. Weeding is the most horrific job in my in my garden. It just is never ending, and I hate it. And what can we Bob tell about Mel's personality? <laughs> it doesn't transform my life. If, if you if you keep at it for at least ten minutes, I, I promise you, Mel, you'll see the difference. You just get into it and get into a zone, really. Really? Um, I'll try that, yeah. but I'm like ask meditation. Bob. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I, find, I find gardening and weeding very therapeutic. It helps clear the mind as well as the weeds. Okay, let's keep looking at some of these pictures. Uh, we've got EcoStore founder Malcolm Rand. He also teaches. Uh, he lives in the Northland Eco Village. So that would have been quite interesting, that particular one. Yeah, permaculture. This is this is what it is uh, at its best. Uh, Michael, okay. as he oh, says, yes. Malcolm, as he, as he says, is not into neat gardens and and flower beds. So um, so it truly reflects who who he is uh, as a uh, as a you know is permaculture to to the top. Um, yeah. So. 
uh, and I think um, we uh, we have also the aspect of Markham being uh, someone who understands that philanthropy and, mm -hmm. and business are two sides of the same coin. And I, I think you can actually capture that when wow. you see what is done with EcoStore, uh, you know, with the Fairground Foundation first, and then mm -hmm. EcoStore uh, feeding the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think you can see that in his garden as well. He's a great guy. And if you're up there taking photos, you've been in for a good chat too, because oh, he likes yeah. a good chat, doesn't yeah. he, Malcolm? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, absolutely. Yeah, I was just going to say quickly, Christina, what do you hope people get out of getting this book and reading it? Um, I think really it's it's the message that these all these people have, you know, they're, they're successful people, but um, it's really about doing what you can at your level as well, you know, and, and giving in many, many ways, you know, whether it's money, whether it's your time, whether it's supporting a cause, obviously. Some of the proceeds of the book are going to the New Zealand Arts Foundation, which we support, so it made sense as well. Gardens of the Greats, Expressions of Extraordinary People is only available online now at branchlandscapes.com. Well,